Today, we're gonna to be talking about the seven best ways that you can make money in Webflow in 2023. Let's go. The first way you can make money in Webflow this year is to become a Webflow freelancer. Now, what is this? Webflow freelance work essentially means offering your Webflow design and development service on a project basis for clients. You're not a part of an agency, you're on your own taking projects as they come. Now, there's a couple pros to doing Webflow freelance. Firstly, Webflow freelance work gives you a bunch of flexibility in your scheduling. You can take the projects that you want, you can leave the projects that you don't, you control your schedule and that flexibility is valuable. Another pro of freelance work is the independence it gives you over your creative design process. If you don't wanna work on a project because it doesn't really fit your wheelhouse or it doesn't excite you, you don't have to take the project. You can focus more on the projects that you're interested in and kind of niche down into your favorite categories. Another benefit of freelance Webflow work is you have very low overhead costs. Basically, all you need is a laptop and a monitor and you're good to go. As opposed to starting an agency where you have to pay rent for an office, you have to pay salaries for your employees, et cetera, et cetera. As a freelance worker, you're flexible, you're independent, and it's basically free to start. Now there are some cons to working freelance as opposed to working in a Webflow agency. Firstly, working as a Webflow freelancer means that you are going to have irregular income. You're not gonna have steady streams of income month after month that you can rely on. So you need to be comfortable with this. Two, you don't have the typical job security you would normally have if you're working a normal nine to five or building out a Webflow agency where the income's more steady. You are going to have to find your clients and your work on a weekly and monthly basis in order to keep that money coming through the door. And then finally, and I think this is probably the biggest downside of freelance work, is your earnings are kind of capped by your time. So with freelance work, you don't really delegate tasks to other people, you do everything. So you can only make as much money as the time you have in your days. Now, there's a lot of successful Webflow freelancers out there on the internet that you can learn from. One of my favorites is Grace Walker. She's awesome. She started off just like a lot of us, tinkering around in little website projects, and then turned herself into a professional freelancer with a beautiful portfolio on her website, which I'll have linked down below. And she just takes the projects that she enjoys and she works on them. She has very good work-life balance, and she has flexibility in the projects she takes on. Now, the second way that we can make money in Webflow in 2023 is essentially the opposite of doing Webflow freelance work. And this is starting your own Webflow agency. Now, starting a Webflow agency means building a full-on company, a full-on team of people who can design and develop Webflow sites for your clients at scale. So it's a step up on the ladder of complexity compared to Webflow freelance work. Now, one of the main pros of building a Webflow agency as compared to Webflow freelance work is you can really scale up your business fast when you bring on a full team of designers and developers that can help you build these websites. So for example, I'm not good at design. I'm better at developing the website, actually building out the structure of the website in Webflow. So what I could do is I could hire a team of designers who could design websites for me, create beautiful assets for me to use on my websites. And then I could take those assets and those designs and develop those websites into a final product for my clients. So by leveraging other people's skills against my weaknesses, we were able to one, build more beautiful websites and two, achieve scale so that we can really start pumping out a bunch of these websites for our clients. This can be an especially lucrative business model because now as your team and you start working together and building more and more beautiful websites, you can start charging a lot of money at scale to your clients. Now, with all of those pros, there's obviously some cons. The first con of building a Webflow agency is you have increased responsibility. Whereas Webflow freelance work, you're on your own time, on your own dime. If your business fails, only you are affected. With a Webflow agency, you have a full team of people that you are responsible for. And if the company goes under, they all go under and everybody loses their job. So there's a lot more responsibility with starting a Webflow agency. And then secondly, there's going to be a lot higher risk in starting a Webflow agency compared to freelance work. You're most likely going to have to sink a significant amount of capital into getting your business up off the ground. But if you are okay with that upfront cost and that additional responsibility, building a Webflow agency and building out a cohesive team can be really, really rewarding. Now, a company that is completely dominated in the Webflow agency space is a company called FinSuite. And I'll have them linked down below in case you wanna get inspired and kind of follow a similar path that they did all those years ago when they started the Webflow agency. Now, the third way that we can make money in Webflow in 2023 is to start a Webflow SEO agency. What is this? Essentially, SEO agencies help identify and fix 
SEO problems for their clients so that their clients' websites can start ranking better in Google. Now, one of the main benefits of starting an SEO agency is it's very easy to get monthly recurring revenue. Now, a ton of SEO services will offer monthly SEO audits for their clients' websites. They will offer monthly content creation loaded with the right keywords and all the SEO bells and whistles needed to help rank better in Google and to do all the other monthly SEO work that needs to be done in order to keep their websites up to date and ranking on Google. So recurring revenue is very easy to achieve. The second pro of starting an SEO agency is it's very easy to sell and pitch clients on these services. Almost all businesses understand the importance of a ranking high on Google to give their businesses that exposure. And most of these businesses are willing to invest in order to make that happen. So it's an easy pitch and sell. And then lastly, and I think most importantly, it's very easy to prove results and convert your customers into long-term clients because of the benefits they're seeing on a monthly basis from your service. When you can sit down with a client and show them how much your services have increased their web traffic or their sales, for example, they're just gonna love you. Now, a couple of cons of SEO agency work is it's pretty technical. You're gonna have to invest some time in learning how to do SEO work so that you can offer these services to your clients. Secondly, the Google search algorithm, as we know, is under a veiled hood. No one has really any idea what's going on under there in that engine, and they change and update it constantly. So in order to provide valuable SEO services for your clients, you need to stay up to date on all of the changes Google is making on the back end. And then lastly, it can take a while to start seeing the benefits of all your SEO work on your client's website. Sometimes it just takes time to get things going again, and you might need a long-term commitment from your clients up front in order to finally see results after a few months. Now, someone who is doing great work in the Webflow SEO space is Peyton Clark Smith. He has a YouTube channel, which is awesome. If you wanna start doing work like this, go check it out. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but he has a bunch of valuable content to get you started on that journey to SEO Webflow work. Okay, the fourth way that we can make money in Webflow in 2023 is to do no code development and consulting work. Now, what is this? So essentially what I'm talking about here is becoming an expert at integrating Webflow with other third-party no-code tools to help your clients automate their processes, streamline their workflows, and create custom solutions for their businesses that don't require code. Now, there's a ton of examples of different no-code work you can do inside of Webflow. I've been making videos on it for about a year now. So there's a lot of examples on my YouTube channel if you wanna go peruse through my no-code playlist just to get your juices flowing. But essentially what we're talking about here is helping clients build membership websites by integrating Webflow and MemberStack 2.0, helping clients build job boards inside of Webflow with some no-code automations using Zapier or Make.com, or even building AI-driven automated content machines by using ChatGPT and Make.com, things like this. I have videos on a lot of these if you wanna go get inspired and check these out but it's pretty awesome. Now, a couple pros of this no-code development and consulting work is this can be very, very lucrative. A lot of people don't wanna spend the time upfront learning the technical aspects of how to set all this stuff up. And if you're an expert on it, they will come to you because you know what you're talking about and they'll pay you thousands and thousands of dollars to build them a membership site, to build them a job board, et cetera. So this can be very lucrative. Secondly, when you spend a lot of time building a lot of these no-code solutions for people, you start picking up skills that you otherwise would not have picked up. And this leads to almost building like a little arsenal of skills of no code tools that you can use to deploy whenever you want to build something really cool. And so I found that as I learn one no code tool and then another no code tool, well, then I'll have an idea of somehow merging them and creating almost like a super tool and really creating value in that process. Now, a couple cons of doing Webflow no-code development work is it's very technical. It takes a while to learn a lot of these tools and these skills that you need to develop before you can start helping clients. And then secondly, the no-code world changes rapidly. There's always a new tool. There's always a better way to do something. You have to stay up to date on all of these changes in order for you to provide the best value to your clients. Now, someone who's absolutely dominating in the no-code development and consulting space is a guy named Connor Finlayson. I'll have his website linked down below as well. He has helped me so much over the past year in helping to understand a lot of these no-code concepts and tools and how we can integrate them in Webflow to build amazing things for our clients. So check him out and his YouTube channel if you haven't already and you're interested in getting into some of this Webflow no-code development work. Now, the fifth way that we can really make a lot of money in Webflow in 2023 is to develop our own custom Webflow plugins. 
Now, what does this mean? Essentially, what I'm talking about here is creating a custom software that extends the capabilities of Webflow in the form of a plugin. So for example, there is a new Webflow plugin just released called Semflow, and this is released by Peyton Clark Smith, who I talked about earlier in this video, and I'll have this link down below as well. But essentially what this tool lets you do is download this plugin into your Webflow projects and then use that plugin to audit your pages in Webflow for the proper SEO setup. So I can just basically go through this checklist here and make sure that all my pages are structured correctly, tags are used right, meta descriptions are filled out, etc. And this helps me track that in a very visual and simple way. Now Peyton charges $15 a month for this product. And hopefully in the future, if he can get his user base wide enough and extensive enough, he might be able to exit this and sell this to someone else for a couple million dollars, hopefully. That would be awesome. Now there's a lot of pros in developing these Webflow plugins. Firstly, you get potentially lucrative passive income from developing these products and selling them. You put a lot of effort, time, and money in upfront, but once the plugin is developed and you're selling it to your customers, then it's basically just gravy and you're making a nice passive income every single month from the people using your plugin. Secondly, once you get your plugin developed, there's basically no overhead costs going forward. It's, it's pure gravy, it's all profit. Maybe you have to spend a little bit on maintenance costs going forward, but once people are downloading your plugin and using it and paying you monthly, it's essentially free money. So you can just kick back and watch the money come in, which is awesome. And then thirdly, and this is a huge one, when you develop these Webflow plugins and you find success and product market fit, and you're able to build up your customer base, you have the potential for a pretty hefty exit in the form of millions and millions of dollars if another larger company wants to come and take on your cash flow machine that you've set up so beautifully. Now there's two main cons to building out these Webflow plugins. The first is, this is a very technical exercise. So either you're gonna have to know how to code or you're gonna have to pay someone to code this for you because essentially you're building out a SaaS and you need somebody to code that for you and build the product up so that your clients and customers can download this. And then secondly, you're probably going to have to do some maintenance work on a go forward basis every month to make sure your plugin is still fully functional working well inside the Webflow environment and still giving your customers a seamless, coherent experience. All right, so before we get into our six way to make money in Webflow in 2023, I want us all to take a deep breath and exhale. I know the last few ideas have been very technical, but we are now going to go back to the basics. Another simple idea to get you into the Webflow money-making mindset. So the sixth way to make money in Webflow in 2023 is to create website templates and clonables and sell those to people for them to use in their own websites. So there's two main ways to go about this. One, you can create website templates and list them for sale either on Webflow or on your own websites for people to download and use them as starting points for their own projects. The second way you get into this is to start making Webflow clonables, which aren't full on website templates, but essentially they're just kind of components or elements that you can paste into your own website, such as a cool form that you think looks good or a cool button that you wanna copy into your website or a really sleek modern nav bar that you think would look perfect on your website. You can build these, put them behind a paywall and charge people to copy them and paste them into their own website. Now, there's a couple pros to creating website templates or clonables and selling them to people. Firstly, this is mostly passive income. I love the idea of passive income because as we mentioned before, you put a lot of work in upfront, but once it's made, it's hands off, you kick back, you watch the money come in. So once you get your templates built, once you get your clonables built, your components, you list them for sale, people buy them, and you watch the money come in. Secondly, I really love how easy it is to get started with creating these clonables and these website templates. Webflow has a ton of tutorials on how to get familiar with Webflow the fastest. I also made a video, which I'll have linked up here right now, on the quickest way to learn Webflow. I think you can learn the basics in less than a weekend. And at that point, you have the basic skills needed to start making these components that you can charge people for to copy and use in their websites. So it's very, very easy to get into, which I'm a big fan of. Now, a couple cons with this idea is, like I said before, with any good passive income business, you're gonna have to sink a lot of time in upfront to create your clonables, to create your templates, um, and build up your library enough for people to really wanna come and download and buy 
your clonables. And then secondly, you're entering into a pretty crowded market here. There's a ton of different Webflow clonable libraries out on the internet selling these type of products to people. And even the Webflow template library is pretty saturated right now. So you're really gonna have to make amazingly beautiful and clean website templates in order to set yourself out from the rest. Now there's a company called Flowbase that is absolutely killing the Webflow clonables market right now. Um, they're awesome, I use them all the time. I'll have them linked down below as well. Uh, in case you wanna find inspiration, see how they have their website set up and see the type of clonables that they are offering to their customers on their site. And then finally, the seventh way that you can make money in Webflow in 2023 is to create content helping people learn Webflow, kind of like what I'm doing right now. So there's a couple ways you can go about this. A, you can build a YouTube channel, kind of like what I've been doing the last year where you sit in front of a camera and you teach people how to use Webflow. And then hopefully eventually grow that audience large enough to become monetized on YouTube and start making some ad revenue from your videos. Another way you could go about this is to create online courses around some more complex, advanced Webflow topics. So there's a couple pros to teaching Webflow online. The first is passive income. We've talked about this on a lot of our ideas today. You can tell I'm addicted to the idea of passive income, but it's the same idea. You put in the work up front and then you get to watch the sales and the money come in on the back end. So you either make a YouTube video and you get a seal the views come in on the back end, or you sync the time into making an online course and then you watch the money roll in for months and months and months as people find that course and buy it. The second pro of teaching Webflow online is you will naturally grow an audience, an audience of people looking to expand their Webflow skills, and you will start to build a real community of people in the Webflow space. Now, this gives you a lot of flexibility on what you can do going forward. If you want to launch an online course, you can. If you want to start a Webflow agency, you can, because you've got people who already trust you, who already are familiar with you, who will probably follow you to your agency or to your no-code consulting if they have work that they need done in one of those avenues. And then lastly, and this is probably my favorite pro we've talked about so far is when you teach Webflow online, you are helping people. You are helping people build projects that they are passionate about. So you get to impact people's lives. I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten from people telling me how one of my videos has helped them launch their first startup or something like that. And it's insane to me, it's crazy. And I know this video is called How to Make Money Using Webflow in 2023, but that is a nice side benefit to teaching Webflow online and building an audience. So if you're interested in teaching Webflow online and you wanna start growing your audience, I hope I can serve as an inspiration to you. I have a bunch of videos I've made over the last year that hopefully you can find some sort of inspiration from. Go through, watch them if you want, let me know if you have any questions, but just get started, hit record and make your first video. And I'm telling you, you will enjoy it. So I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.